you fancy folk they'll toss me off the party. You've forgiven me. Oh, thank God. Teresa. What's wrong? You have forgiven me, haven't you? I gotta say, it really feels good to be alone together for a change. Yes, it does. We're very lucky, Grace. In spite of everything that's happened. Our house being destroyed. Losing our baby. And David coming into our lives. We're very lucky to have each other. And that we made it through. Yeah. It's just that... Seems like everybody in our lives is having so much pain and suffering. You know, Louise and Sheridan, Teresa and Ethan, and Ivy. Doing everything that she could to try to pull us apart. She couldn't do it. <laughs> she couldn't do it any more than David could do it. You know, I, I pity her. I mean, she is all alone. She didn't have you. She didn't have anyone. I feel sorry for her, but I'm glad we'll always have each other. things I love about you. Your loving and forgiving heart. I mean, it's amazing that you can feel pity for Ivy after all she's done. Well, don't get me wrong. I mean, I am never going to trust Ivy. But she's Ethan's mother and you're his father, so she's always going to be in our lives. Unfortunately, you're right. But I can't say I feel pity for her. No, I just, I wouldn't want to be in her shoes. I mean, she's lost Julian. Not that he's any prize. You see that? Is... <laughs> but he is the father of three of her children. And in losing the Crane name, she's lost all that power and money and prestige. That had to have been the hardest thing for her to lose. Mm-mm. Hardest thing for her to lose was you. 
Grace, she never had me to lose. Not after I met you. She tried everything that she could to pull me back into her life, but nothing worked. No matter how many times I told her that I only loved you, she kept coming back. Well, I'm glad I just finally had enough sense to fight for you once I saw her in the bunk room with you. Gracie, even if you didn't fight back, you were never going to lose me. I love you so much. I love you too, Sam. And you know, some good did come out of that bunk room incident. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Ivy realized I was never gonna stop fighting for you. And she finally decided to give up on trying to steal you from me. killed you for one or two, Ivy. You never did. What the hell's the matter with you? Just making a point. You're awfully vulnerable right here in your hospital bed, Ivy. I could have killed you, walked out of here, and no one would have been the wiser. They'd catch you. I wouldn't even be a suspect. We barely know each other, remember? Do you want to kill me? Let's just say that I don't like being blackmailed. If I were a blackmailer, I'd be much more careful than you, Ivy. Well, you're a lot of things, David. But I don't think you're a killer. Don't be so sure. People have been driven to murder for much less, even yourself. If I were capable of murder, David, I wouldn't have hired you. I simply would have killed Grace Bennett myself. You really want Sam that badly that you'd even commit murder? Haven't you realized it yet? I will do whatever it takes to get Sam back. I will not give him up. Do I know you? We never met. I feel like I do know you. So do I. How is that possible? I don't know. Maybe we met in another life. That must be it. I feel as if I've always known you. And you've known me. Stay here, Teresa. Not now. Please don't go. You expect me to stay here knowing you're married to Julian? But, but I'm not. He's getting an annulment, Ethan. It was a mistake. Teresa, don't try to explain what happened. It happened. And you lied to me. I know. I'm sorry. I was afraid to tell you the truth about what happened in Bermuda. I was afraid that I would lose you. We've been over this. There's no reason to go over it again. Ethan, you can't leave. 
You can't, you can't believe anything that Rebecca says. I didn't marry Julian for the money. I hate him. I went there to convince him to take you back into the family and I, I didn't get him drunk. Like Rebecca said, Ethan, he kept pouring champagne into my glass. Teresa, don't, all right? But you have to know the truth. I went to Julian to help you. I wanted to give you back everything that you lost when that tabloid came out about you not being a crane. And I know that your mother hates me. But Ethan, I swear, I never sent that email to the tabloid. Teresa, I don't think you went down to Bermuda to get Julian drunk. Look, you're a liar, but you're not conniving. Not like Rebecca. You know, the truth is, I may never know exactly what went down in Bermuda. But at this point, I don't care. But you have to care. Uh, Ethan, I love you. Teresa, I don't care. Because what kills me, you know, what, what feels like a knife in my heart is that you kept it from me. How many times did I tell you that the woman I love has to be honest with me? You know, I can't stand secrets or lies. No more. I know. Ethan, I swear I will never keep anything from you ever again. Ethan, Ethan, you know about Julian marrying Teresa, but there is something that you obviously do not know. Teresa, you said that you both woke up. Does that mean that you and Julian slept in the same bed? Yes. Does, um, that mean that what it means, Whitney. Not only did I uh, marry Julian Crane, I had sex with him. All eternity. It's just a dream. It seems so real. We were in another time. We were dancing and kissed. It seemed like she was really here. Are they kissing me? Told you I'd never let you go. I did. I let you down, I failed you. You said there's something else I don't know, Whitney? Please don't make things worse. Is it possible there's something you're still not telling me, Teresa? What is it, sweet Teresa? Don't touch me! What are we doing in bed with each other? What? Making love, of course. No!
in spite of everything that Teresa has done, all the things that she's done that have hurt you, you have to know that she did it all out of love for you. It's true. I've been stupid. Ethan, but everything I did, I did because I love you. But I don't think love is enough. See, how can you live with someone you can't trust? How can you ever feel completely safe, completely loved, if you can't trust the person you're with? See, I just don't think it's possible. I'm really lying to me all these years about who I am. I know, and I was wrong. But she didn't want to hurt you. And neither did you. But you both lied to me over and over. Now, maybe if my mother hadn't lied to me, I might be able to overlook the way you betrayed my trust. But I can't. Because a marriage without trust is worthless. You know, there is, there's no future. There's no happiness in a marriage like that. You know, when you're young, you think love is all that matters. I mean, look at Ethan and Teresa. Mm. I really think they love each other, but love isn't enough. No, they're missing the elements of truth and trust. But you know what? I am not giving up on Teresa and Ethan. I didn't give up on us, and we made it back together. I think they will, too. Think so? I hope so. I mean, what Teresa did was wrong, not telling Ethan that she married Julian. But her intentions were right. I mean, she was afraid of what Ethan would do to Julian when he found out. You know, I really think that he would have killed Julian if I hadn't stopped him. Thank God you were there. Yeah. I just hope Ethan can find it in his heart to forgive her. Just like you forgave me for not telling you about my affair with Ivy all those years ago. But you and I have been married a long time. Ethan and Teresa's love may not be as strong as ours. Yeah. And our love has really been tested. I mean, first with Ivy trying to come between us, and then with David. You know, I really thought she would use this situation with David to try to stir things up again. Well, obviously, she had more sense. She knew that nothing could break us apart. You say you don't want to give Sam up, but I don't think he's yours to give up. Well, he was mine once. I loved Sam before he ever met Grace, and he loved me. I intend to have Sam Bennett back. You can't get Sam Bennett back if Grace doesn't let him go. And I've tried every trick in the book, and she's not letting him go. Look, I'm sorry, but you have to face it. Sam and Grace are very much in love, and there's nothing you can do to tear them apart. I didn't go to all the trouble of creating a fake marriage license, finding a fake priest, creating fake memories. I didn't scour dozens of newspaper articles to find, make a past for you and Grace to give it all up now. Look, I don't care what trouble you went to. I'm the one giving the award-winning performance here. I even convinced Sam that Grace and I were once married. I can doctor a photograph to make it look like something it isn't, but I cannot doctor real life. It, it didn't work. It's over. There's nothing more I can do. Well, I didn't spend all those years as a crane for nothing. I know where there's a will, there's a way. And honey, I have the will. I want Sam Bennett back, and I will have him. Thank you. 
Thank God you're alive. Oh, William, get him in that boat. He's freezing. Oh, Diana, there you are. I was worried about you. I thought something might have happened to you. You know, you really should be in bed. You need as much rest as you can get. Are you all right? Oh, man. She must be sleepwalking. Come on, come on. Let me get you back to the hotel, okay? Take you back. Get you back in bed. I'm gonna take care of you. You look like you saw a ghost. I think I did. I dreamed I was on board the Titanic dancing with the woman I love. The story was straight out of the one that my fiance had told me. The one the fortune teller told her about when she was a child? Yeah. We were the same people, but we had different names. I guess the story got stuck in my subconscious and now I'm reliving it. Dreams can seem so real sometimes. Yeah. Um. I dreamed that she came into my room and kissed me. I, I woke up and I could still feel her kiss on my lips. My fiance's. And yet you know she's dead. Yeah. She was cremated. Yet every day I feel like she is more and more alive and I keep expecting the door to open and for her to walk through. Up until now, I was your strongest defender. You know, my mother told me that you would lie to me. Julian and Alistair told me. Rebecca and Gwen told me. And I refused to believe them. I told them that they were wrong because they didn't know you the way I did. <laughs> I'm sorry, Teresa. I... But love isn't enough. Give me a chance. I will prove to everyone how much I love you. I'm gonna finish packing. No. It's not all lost, Vinny. You heard him. He says that he still loves me. No, he, he said that he can't marry you. Not so long as he can't trust you. But I can change his mind, Whitney. I know I can. I just, I need time. No, you need to be completely honest with him. And stop hiding things from that man. Tell him the truth, Teresa. I will, Whitney. I'll never lie to him again. Then prove it to him right now. Start right this second with a clean slate. And tell him that you slept with Julian. I know you're troubled. You've been through a lot. That's probably why you're sleepwalking. Probably thinking about the man that you loved. But Diana, you're gonna have to let him go. He's dead and he's not coming back. But I'm here for you. And if you'll let me, I'll take care of you for the rest of your life. I'll love you as much as any man has ever loved you. If you'll just give me that chance.
was just the wind. Well, yeah. <laughs> I thought she was gonna walk in. It's hard letting go. I know, I've been there. When you lose someone you love, you start imagining all sorts of things. Actually, I wouldn't mind believing in past lives. But where's the proof? Yeah. There isn't any. I know it's just my mind playing tricks on me. <laughs> but why is it that I feel her so close to me down here? Why is it that everywhere I turn, I sense her there with me? And I swear if it wasn't her in my room tonight, well, then some other woman came in my room and kissed me. Oh, was that you? <laughs> Not unless I was sleepwalking. But look, if somebody really kissed you, wouldn't you wake up? Yeah. yeah I guess so. But the only other woman around here is Diana. I think I'll go check up on her. See what she's been up to. So what if Ethan finds out on his own that you had sex with Julian? It'll be guaranteed that he'll never trust you again. I can't tell him, Whitney. Not yet. I'll never be able to look at me again if I tell him that I slept with Julian. Honey, you don't know that. I do. Ethan is a grown man, Teresa. He could understand that how this might happen. Maybe. But not yet. I will tell him once he's forgiven me, once we're back together. I'm gonna go get a soda. Is there anything that I can do to change your mind? I wish there were. But when I think of all the times you lied to me, all the deception, all the excuses that you made up in Bermuda why we shouldn't get married, and not wanting me to file the marriage license, it was obviously because you didn't want me to know that you and Julian were married. How can I believe anything you say? You said you still love me. Doesn't that count for something? I thought it did. You know what upsets me most is that I, I just can't turn off my feelings for you. I love you, Teresa. And I believe you love me. I do. With all of my heart. Well, it doesn't matter if I can't trust you. How can I be sure that you're not keeping something from me right now? How can I be sure that you're being totally open and honest with me? When will I ever stop dreaming about Liam? May I come in? Oh, yeah, of course. Come on in, Liz. So how are you feeling? You've had a very rough time, you know? Almost drowned again. Yeah, I feel all right. I just keep having these dreams. You want to talk about them? I'm sorry. I'm just hoping the less I talk about them, the less they'll come back. Makes sense to me. Diana, have you been in your room all night? Yeah, I've been sleeping. Why? Oh, I was just wondering if you were out wandering the halls kissing strange men. I don't think so. <laughs> no, I, I've been in here dreaming up a storm. Okay. You go back to sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Good night. Good night. I 
wish Liam were here so I could tell him about my dreams. Look, I admire your tenacity, Ivy. I do. But you can't get blood from a stone. I can do no more. Yes, you can. And you will. No. I've kept up my end of the bargain. Not that I had any choice in the matter. But I've done everything I can to separate Sam and Grace, and none of it has worked. Damn her. Don't look, you've lost, Ivy. It's over. And it's time for me to get on with my life. Oh. No, 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 no. No. You're not going anywhere. You're not leaving Harmony and, until you help me get Sam back. Is there something else you're not telling me, Teresa? Are you leaving because of the deal that you made with your mother? Because you promised her if you ever found out that I was keeping anything from you, you would break up with me? No. You know, I, I love my mother and I respect her, even though she raised me to believe that Julian was my father. But she did it out of love for you, Ethan. I know. But I'm not going to let my mother dictate my life. You know, I made that deal with her because I was convinced that, that you'd never keep anything from me. You know, I, was, I was so sure that you would never lie to me. You know, I was going to prove to my mother that I trusted you. you know, but I was wrong. And you let me down. I was going to spend the rest of my life with you. But how can I? You know, I always wonder if, if you have some kind of hidden agenda. I don't have a hidden agenda. My only agenda, Ethan, is to marry you. And to love you every day for the rest of my life. Teresa, you say some really wonderful things. And I know you, you mean them. And you may even for a moment believe that you're not lying. But, but how can I know that you're not keeping something from me? I'm sorry, Teresa, but I, I can't forget what you've done. me and my father. He once planted a rose bush for my mother. That's very sweet. Well, I am here to report that if someone kissed you in your sleep, it wasn't Diana. Well, no, of course it wasn't. I mean, uh, why would she kiss a perfect stranger? I thought I'd check, but she's been sleeping all night. Yeah. I'm sure I was just dreaming. I'll tell you that. <laughs> that kiss felt so real. I can still feel it on my lips. mine. That's ridiculous. He's not real. And even if he were, I've been in here all night. There's no way I could have kissed anyone. There's sand on my shoes. How do I get sand on them? I'm sure I never left this room. You think true lovers are destined to be together? Maybe not in this lifetime, but maybe the next? Yeah, I do. Otherwise, life doesn't make sense. 
And I think souls are immortal. That sooner or later, true love is rewarded and lovers are united. Happily. For eternity. I hope so. At least for Luis and Sheridan's sake. Well, thankfully, we don't have to wait for another lifetime to be together. Now that David's getting ready to leave town and Ivy's finally throwing in the towel, there's nothing to stop us from having a long and happy life together. Mm. Look, Ivy, I've told you there's nothing more I can do. Sam and Grace believe that I am Grace's husband, and it doesn't matter. She's Catholic. If she thinks you're married, she will never divorce you. She's talking about getting an annulment. Well, I don't care if she has an audience with the Pope. I am not giving up. Do you understand? I don't... I don't know what you think you can do. I've convinced Grace that I've given up on Sam. She's vulnerable. Her guard is down. It's the perfect time to strike. Ethan, well, you can't leave. I mean, where will you go? He's gonna put me up for the night. And, uh, I'll just figure out what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Just right now, I need some time to think. Figure out what I'm gonna do next. Oh, <laughs> 